Okay, and we're back with Bill Puckett, UFOs Northwest. That was a, a remarkable description, William. Amazing. Quite common uh, with the electromagnetic interference. Uh, this is about the first report I received, very similar to uh, what JC described. And the red light in the middle is another commonality. And no sound or low humming sound, quite common, but you really wonder what these things are. I mean, the military, when they were testing stealth technology, they did a lot of their testing at night, but not in populated areas. And this electromagnetic interference, you really got to be wondering what these things are powered with, some sort of anti-gravity, uh, time warp, or whatever. Uh, machine, and that's that's what they seem to be. And right, they're, well, they're machines, they're, all right. They've been a mystery for over thirty years. Yeah, yeah they still are. Yeah, that was a, a very interesting encounter, to put it mildly. No other traffic. You wonder what causes that. We've heard that so many times. Just don't know. Amazing. All right, uh, we have another eyewitness, I believe, standing by now. You want to? Introduce uh, number two, if you would. Also uh, back from, I believe, uh, Pennsylvania. Yes, this sighting uh, occurred in York, Pennsylvania quite recently on June 11th, uh, around quarter after 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, uh, about 20 to 25 minutes before sunset. So it was a daylight sighting. And what struck me about this sighting was just that, it was in the daytime, and high percentage of sightings are nocturnal, and a very strange shape that this particular object had, and that struck me, and the witness is quite explicit in her report, and I'm glad that she come to join us. Her name is Kay, and hello from York, Pennsylvania. Hello. Hi there, Kay. Thanks for being Hi. here tonight. Oh, hey, I was looking forward to, to, to talking to you. <laughs> Very good. All right, so uh, tell us what happened. When? What time of day was this? What were the conditions like, and what did you see? Oh, uh, it was a uh, fairly clear sky, and it was around, I'd say around 8.15, 8.20 p.m., uh -huh. and we were all sitting in the backyard. My friend had seen it first, and she said, what was that, my neighbor? Because we were just all sitting there, and I have, like, very limited, like, sky view in my backyard because there's this big tree in my neighbor's yard. Uh -huh. And we were like, what? And after it went beside, like, it went to the other side of the tree. Now, it didn't go above the tree line. It went, like, kind of through the tree. And I looked over, and my son and I, my son is 12, we're all sitting here listening. Uh, and uh, we... Um, we saw it, and it was very strange in the shape that it was. It was kind of like a rectangular shape, and it had, I have to say, like bat-like wings that came out, and it, it made no sound, and it just kind of, uh, I, I don't want to say it, it didn't hover, it didn't, it glided by, and, it, it, and quick. We, we saw it was maybe like a five to ten second, if that, time span that it was, that we could actually see it in view. Okay, now this is, is this object lit up? Does it have lights on no, it? No, no lights. Completely black. Uh-huh. Yes. How were you able to see it against a black sky? No, it wasn't a black sky. It was still daylight. She, she had oh. daylight, Jeff. There were At still eight, about 20 minutes before it was got it. set. I okay, it very yeah. good. Now, you described it as a, a rectangular shape with, with bat-like wings coming yes. out of it. Yeah, it's very odd-looking. Odd yeah, I should say. Uh, uh, were they uh, moving at all, Kay? Were they, were they uh, I, well, compared to where I was, you know how you see a jet plane moving and you think it's slow. It it seemed like it was fast moving compared to my location. And how many witnesses were there besides yourself? There's three, and, and they're right here with me. If you'd like to oh. talk to either one of them, one is yeah. my neighbor and one is my 12-year-old son. <laughs> they're just let's they're let's, uh, here, like, let's do phone. that, but let me talk to you just a little bit more. Uh, okay. As you looked at this uh, object, the idea was it was close, it was far away. What was your um, sense of it? Was, I would say it was, 
It's, it's hard to predict how far away it was. Approximately 60 feet. Well, my neighbor says 60 feet, but I would say it was further because you don't know how big it was. Well, it From was, in other words... Eye, okay. Uh, maybe, it, it seemed like maybe 70 feet or so, but... Now, it was probably a lot further. If, if I were going to if I were going to draw something, would I draw the shape of a domino and then put wings extending out from the sides? Is that what? Yeah, we're, but we're don't getting? put any dots on it. Okay, I'll leave the dots off. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now the You're wings. You're sending me a sketch, right, Kay? Yes, I did. I sent you one. Right. All right. The wings. We'll be getting that up on the site, and your listeners can go to www. Oh, oh, you did get it. Dot com and I'll have it up there as soon as I get it. All right, all right, good. Yeah. I drew it in pencil, but I said, you know, I didn't note there that it was black completely. Can you describe the shape of the wings that came out the side? They were uh, were they attached to the? Yes, full? they were definitely attached, and uh-huh. they always seemed to be moving. The wings. Did did you actually feel you detected movement of the wings? Yes, yes, we all did. Like they were flapping. Well, not flapping quickly, but, but maybe ad- maybe adjusting in a slow motion, very very slow motion. How strange! Yeah, it was completely strange. All right, let's talk to your neighbor if we can, Kay. Okay, here's my neighbor. Hello. Hi, neighbor. Hi. Um, Hi. I'm the first one that saw it. We were okay. drilling out back right. there. And uh, I'm I'm raised military. I'm army brat. Now, I've seen just about every kind of flying machine, you know, and rode in them. Bird planes, balloons. It wasn't a bird. It wasn't a plane, and it wasn't no damn balloon. Right. right. Got it. Uh, what I saw was uh, very bizarre. It was basically all black, but th- it wasn't dark yet. It was kind of dusk. You know, Understand. There was still light in the sky. Yes. It was very close. The tree that uh, it was next to was approximately 40 to 50 feet high. I work construction. I work on 40-foot extension ladders. So I'm going to estimate that this thing was approximately 50 to 60 feet in the air, which isn't very high. No, it isn't. How how big are, let's say... We it wasn't a bird, it wasn't a plane, it wasn't a kite. All right, okay? we've, got a, we've got a domino... And it was mechanical. It was definitely a mechanical thing. Okay. I got you. We have All a. Right. Rec- she said it was a rectangular shape. Yes, and it had some kind of wings coming out of each side of it, but they weren't like you know how bird wings, the position that they they yes, point yes. like downward. Uh huh. These were more like bat wings, pointed like upward. But when I saw it, they weren't flapping or moving at all, and the thing was moving. It was moving. I would approximately say. At a speed, oh, I couldn't even guess the speed. Faster than, I, I, I compared it to a, a hawk diving, a hawk in a dive. Was the, let's let's try and concentrate on the rectangular shape of the body of this machine. Okay. How, how big are you going to estimate it to be? How wide and how uh, long and how tall? The tree, oh, I'd have to hand that over to the next sighter. Which would be um, the boy here? Can well, I do that to you? Yeah, hold, but hold on. When just I a saw second. it, I said, "Look, what is that?" And then and here right. they come. All right, put him on. Okay. Put him on. Hello. Hi there. Um. Yeah. Hi. How big uh, was this thing? How was this thing big enough for you to climb inside of it and go for a ride, or was it smaller than that? It was probably about uh, ten feet. It maybe looked like ten feet high, and then maybe six feet wide. Let me ask you this. If you took your thumb and put it out at arm's length, would it cover this thing? No. It would. Whoa, whoa. That's a good question, Bill. What would you have to hold between your thumb and index finger to cover this thing at arm's length? A ping pong ball, an orange, a walnut, a pea? How big of, how big of something would you have to hold maybe, to cover? Maybe a, uh, an, an, an apple. That's wow. huge. That's, That's big. That's huge. Yeah. That is huge. An apple at arm's length. Apple. Right? Now, you say yeah, it, was, apple. it was about 10 feet tall and 6 feet wide. How long do you think the body of this was? Um, how long was it? Um, um, maybe about... Like, how about a... 
half, maybe about as big as my thumb, long. Okay, let's say, let's say if it's ten feet tall, right? Yeah. And you turn that ten feet tall on its side. How many ten feet segments would it be to go from front to back of that craft? Ten, one, two, three, ten footers. Two um, ten footers. Maybe about uh, two or three. Maybe two and a half. Two and a half, I would say. Oh, that's a good description. So maybe we've got a 25-foot-long rectangle, 10 feet yeah. tall, 6 feet wide, with some kind of wings on it. This, yeah. is, this is a very strange thing. Did you like see It wasn't the, completely rectangular. At the beginning, it was like a dome with wings, and then at the bottom, it was a rectangle. Oh. So it yeah. wasn't symmetrical. Is that correct? Uh-huh. So it had, a round, it had a round front to it? Yeah, like kind of like if you ever see like what most people think UFOs are like, like the top kind of looked like that except with wings, and then at the bottom it had a rectangle on it. Okay, so the top of the craft was domed. The yeah, bottom the of top, it kind of squared yeah. off. Yeah, the bottom of it squared off, and then the top of it was domed with wings coming out. Wow, and these wings stuck out how far? Um, maybe about wings stuck out. Ten feet, or more, or half less. Half of the length of the um, half of the length of how long it would be if you um, spread That's it out. All right. Length. So if we got a twenty-five foot long object, this yes. did. You got twelve, thirteen, fourteen foot wings. Yeah. This is this is really bizarre. Yeah. UFOs come in all shapes and sizes. Well, and they sure do. Uh, Indicate yeah. that. All right. It's an excellent uh, report. Would you describe the wings as flat? Or did they have some kind of an arch to them? Were they flat out from the side of the body? No, they were like they were like kind of like arch wings. Like they had an arch, and then they was like kind of flat at the bottom, but just barely at the bottom. Like they barely had a like a flat part on them. Like they, it was like a little flat part. You are very good at describing something. Did this did, did this item scare you at all? Um, it kind of scared me, but not really scared me because it was so quick. I didn't think it could do anything. Where, Were where they did it... upward or downward? The winds. Um, the uh, winds upwards or downwards? Um, downwards. Yeah, okay. downwards. Slightly downward. Yeah. Was it uh, making any sound at all? No, it was completely silent, and it went really fast. Like it zoomed off. Did you? Were you able the to? The direction s- it was flying. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it was flying about northwest and uh we tried to uh, um we chased it kind of but we could but then it just disappeared and we didn't see it did you see it change course at all or did was it, it going in, course? did it go in a straight line no. um no we didn't see it change course it pretty much went in a straight line yeah and by the time we got out so we could view it better it just like disappeared it wasn't there at all because it shooted out uh-huh. What well, was the weather like? Was there any clouds in the sky? Any what? Any clouds in the sky at the time? Um, any flaws in the sky? No, no flaws. Clouds. Cloud oh yeah, there was a few clouds in the sky. Okay. Was it windy at all? Um, it wasn't windy at all. Okay. Anything you want to add to your outstanding description? Um, well, it went really fast. Like it was kind of like it wasn't slow. It was like airplane speed, and then it zoomed off, zoomed off super fast. Oh, you, oh, you. So you detected an increase in the velocity. Yes. It the yes. speed increased. It it accelerated. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Sounds like right. one of these Cleon starships to me. <laughs> well, wow, how old are you? Um, I am twelve. You you got a description. You got a future. Yeah, thanks. You want to see it again? Um, see what? Oh yeah, what? I want to see it again. I would like to see the UFO again. <laughs> okay. Have your cell phone handy this time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's it's hard. You're thinking. You're so awestruck. It's hard to take a picture. Right. Well, okay. Right. Uh, is your mom one of the two ladies there? Yes. You want to put her back on? Is she the first yeah. one we talked to? Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, thank you. Excellent job. Thank you very much. Okay, here's my mom.